I just got back from a week-long adventure on the Hawaiian island of Oahu, and I can't wait to share my adventures with you. Stick around as I discover Pearl Harbor, board the USS Arizona Memorial, and get lost on the USS Missouri. What's up, everyone? I'm Rochelle, and welcome to Adventure is Never Far Away. It's possible to have a life full of adventures. Subscribe and come along as I show you that adventure is never far away. Quick history lesson. On the morning of December 7th, 1941, the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service carried out a surprise attack upon the United States. Their target, the naval base at Pearl Harbor in Honolulu, territory of Hawaii. The Pearl Harbor National Memorial became a National Historic Landmark in 1964. The complex features two exhibit galleries, outdoor exhibits, an audio tour, a theater, and a bookstore. From this landmark, visitors are able to access other Pearl Harbor historic sites, such as the USS Bowfin Submarine Museum and Park, the Battleship Missouri Memorial, and the Pacific Aviation Museum. During this trip to Pearl Harbor, I could have spent hours and hours and hours looking at all the exhibits. I have a degree in history. I love history. I studied World War II and the Holocaust extensively. And so this place really was important for me to visit. But instead of spending all day at the museum and at the park, I decided just to visit the USS Arizona Memorial and the USS Missouri, also known as the Mighty Mo. So let's take a step back in time to the morning that I visited Pearl Harbor. But I am going to Pearl Harbor today and I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous. I'm not really sure what to expect as far as like what my emotional response is going to be because I remember going to quite a few um, World War II memorials um, such as the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles and in um, Washington DC. I've also been to um, Auschwitz and Birkenau to the concentration camps and then I also went to school in northern Germany where they have those gold plaques in the ground walking around um, indicating where people were taken and killed so it's gonna be very moving I'm not sure how crowded it's gonna be how crazy but I am so excited I feel things very very deeply so here we go I couldn't believe that I was actually going to visit Pearl Harbor. I mean, this is something that you read about as a kid, you learn about, but you never actually think that you're going to actually see it in person. It's so exciting. It's happening. Like I mentioned, I wasn't too sure what I was gonna expect emotionally, but it was pretty amazing. When we finally got to board the memorial, I couldn't believe that I got to be the first person on. I tried not to run. I quickly walked as fast as I could and savored the few moments I had to myself before I ran over to the side and actually looked down and saw the USS Arizona. One of the most moving moments and Probably my favorite part of the whole experience was at the end of the memorial. There's a huge wall that lists all of the servicemen that died during the attacks on Pearl Harbor. There are so many names on that wall. It really helps put things into perspective. And at the bottom of the wall, there's a section where you can look at the USS Arizona survivors that have since been interred with their shipmates. The survivors of the attack can then have their ashes given over to the National Park Service divers. One of the divers said, it's a large hole and we place the urn through and then you can kind of feel it release. I tell the family when I feel that pull, it's the ship accepting one of its own back.
Wow, so definitely a lot of emotions after that. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but I didn't think that we were actually gonna get to go on it because I was under the assumption that it was still being worked on. So when we boarded the boat, I started to cry. Um, it's just a very moving sight, and most of the people on my group um, were pretty respectful. There were a few older folks who uh, English was not their first language that didn't really understand, like no talking. Um, basically, once you board the boat um, to get you out to the Arizona, you're not supposed to talk. Um, you're not supposed to be on your phones. You can use your phones to take pictures, but like no texting is just a sign of memorial. Um, lots of interesting facts. You can really feel it um, when you step out on that memorial and you look down, you see just the, the ghost of a ship. And it's massive. So after my time on the USS Arizona Memorial, I headed over to the Battleship Missouri Memorial. And on the way, I checked out the numerous plaques that are scattered throughout telling the stories of the Arizona, of the other battleships, of their survivors, and of the acts of heroism that ensued. I then stumbled upon the USS Arizona's anchor. Oh my goodness, it is so big! After a short shuttle ride, in which I couldn't take any pictures or video because you actually have to go on the Pearl Harbor base, I wound up at the USS Missouri, also known as the Mighty Mo. And yeah, it's pretty mighty. There are tons of exhibits, but seriously, it's a labyrinth. It is seriously like a maze in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm in the Missouri and I will probably never leave. <laughs> so I'm just following little green arrows everywhere. <laughs> okay, I don't think anybody ever has any right to complain about their bedding situation <laughs> or their lodging situation because that's terrible. Not gonna lie. I wish I wasn't by myself. <laughs> Not that anybody's gonna come out and jump out at me, but it's a little unnerving. Kilo, Kilo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> After my self guided tour of the USS Missouri, I wandered around on deck for a little bit, trying to figure out what I thought about the place. It's really difficult to express eloquently what your thoughts and feelings are after you've had a chance to walk through history. But it's one of those experiences that I'll never forget. Stay tuned for next week's video as I share my tips and tricks for your first visit to Pearl Harbor. Until our next adventure,